Okay, the cracked and broken panels that we repaired the other day are now ready to be prepped for paint. Let's go do that. This is how to recover. Why not save some money and do it yourself? Come into the workshop, I'll show you how. Remember, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, so what I've done is I've rubbed this down with grey scotch bright and taken all the shine off the whole panel. Then I've sprayed the whole panel in clear. And the reason I did that was to seal in this sticker. Now, this edge here is very, very smooth now. There's no, no actual sticker there. Because I'm gonna have to fill up here, uh, I'm gonna have to rub this. And because I've got to rub it, I don't want to rub off the edge of the sticker. So it's an easy job just to quickly give it a clear coat, let it dry, and then you're good to go. Then you can actually rub the edge of this and take all any overspray that might get on this, you can just rub it off because you're gonna be rubbing back to the clear coat, not back to the sticker. So the second that you see the paint, um, sorry, the second that you see the sticker come through, you can stop and you won't damage anything because you'll, you'll still be standing on top of the clear. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub this section off here and try and make it nice and clean and get ready to do some fill. All right. So let's rub away. So what we need to do is just try. I'm using a block here once again because I don't want to follow any um, warps or little divots or bends in the fairing. I want to try and stay true to the back surface. So I want to try and stay true to this surface here and then bring this into this. I don't want to rub along here and then go up over that because it will look pretty shit. Okay, what we're aiming for is a uniform finish. Now because this is gonna be painted blue, I'm not actually fussed about whether I go through the blue paint here. I'm not worried about that because we're gonna be painting this blue again. Now that seems to be pretty spot on through there. Now the clear coat has done um, a pretty amazing job at filling up this hole. Because we blocked it on the other side, because this is sealed on this side, and we blocked it in there, the clear coat will go through this crack and actually fill it up, and that's now full. And there is, you can't feel anything on here at all. That's perfectly smooth. Because that's actually gone right through to the plastic, it needs to have a little bit of undercoat on it. And we wanna put a little bit of undercoat on here because it is a primer filler, and that will fill up any tiny imperfections that we might have on here and finish the job really nicely. It doesn't take long once you get into it. It's just a matter of sticking, sticking with the process. And don't cheat. Try and always, you know, stay on top of your game. Be, do the job properly. You know, if you do the job properly, you'll do it once. Try and shortcut, you'll do it twice. So we don't really want to do it twice. So we try and stay on top of the game all the way through. And I'm pretty sure that we're just gonna be able to paint this and it's gonna come good for us because the original crack that we did was sealed properly. We took our time. We made absolutely sure that we had our edges right when, when we did our seals. And we should be pretty much good to go. So because we sealed this crack through here nice and sharp, made sure that this was level with this. We now know we don't have a problem. I've just put it, as I say, a bit of clear coat on top of that and I've rubbed it off and that is smooth. And this sticker is protected so that if, it, if we get close to this, it doesn't actually matter because this edge, as you can see, this edge is not, sh there is nothing there. There's nothing to rub off. You can't catch the sticker. It's impossible. And if we put a bit of paint on this, it doesn't matter, we just rub it off. Because, because you can sand on there and you're not actually sanding the sticker, you're sanding the clear coat. So provided you're careful and watch, 
only to take the overspray off, you'll be good to go. You'll be able to take it off, polish it, and it will be like a brand new one. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. We've done we've done excellent there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, when that's sprayed, guys, you won't know. When that's sprayed, it will be like brand new. So that's us. We're good. That's primarily it. So I'll scotch bright this bit, and I'll scotch bright this bit here and I'll leave this sticker shiny and then when we sand we have maximum material to, to to work with so if we get paint on this it doesn't matter well that's it for prep if you like the video give me a thumbs up show me that you care and remember if I can do it so can you catch you next time